Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Isabella and I'm so happy you found my wonderful channel. For today's video, I am going to be sharing my summer bucket list with you and maybe giving you some inspiration for when you are bored and you want something to do this summer. I don't know about you, but I am personally very ready for summer as I've spent 10 years at my current school. So like, I'm ready to leave the school already. Like I'm getting so sick of it. So yeah, I'm ready for summer. Not to mention over summer, it means I can make a lot more YouTube videos. I don't have to worry about, will I have time to edit this? <laughs> or will I have time to film this while there's still sun? So yeah, I'm really excited for this summer. By the way, I have 70 things on this bucket list. So it's pretty long. Some of these are also a little bit more personal. So they're, they may or may not be something you wanna do. If you're not already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified every single time I post a video. I hope you enjoy. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get on with the video. By the way, like half of the 70 things on my bucket list happen to have come from Pinterest because I love Pinterest. Although, um, I don't think I've ever created a spring Pinterest board because after, you know, it kind of like stops snowing, I'm ready for summer. Screw spring. Screw the flowers blooming. I mean, flowers blooming are pretty, but like, I'm ready for summer. I don't need to create a spring Pinterest board. I do create a fall and a winter Pinterest board though, so. I will not, however, link my Pinterest below. If you find it, great for you. But like, I don't want to promote my Pinterest page because it's kind of like mine. I mean, some people like to promote it, but as of right now, I don't want to promote my Pinterest, my Pinterest page. Number one, I want to go to a concert. Now, obviously I would want to go to like an Olivia Rodrigo concert or a Harry Styles concert the most, but Olivia is coming in a week-ish from the day I film this. So by the time this gets uploaded, she will already have come, but I can't go. And then Harry Styles is going on a European tour this summer. So yeah, I'm not even sure there are any concerts this summer that I like actually wanna go to. Number two, a picnic, preferably in a meadow with some surrounding like evergreen trees and maybe some wildflowers too. You know, like really Instagram aesthetic picnic <laughs> especially with like a red checkered blanket and a straw little basket number three a cute little coffee shop that is not starbucks because that is not a cute little coffee shop number four a bookstore preferably like a cute little small one not barnes and noble even though barnes and noble is nice i'm still probably gonna go to barnes and noble too number five go to the beach preferably the ocean beach but like i guess i would take a beach that's on a lake too. Number six, going on a drive. I would personally wanna go on a spinner drive, which is basically where you spin a spinner and it tells you which way to go because those are really fun. But you know, I would take a drive around literally anywhere too. Number seven, eat s'mores, preferably by a campfire. But you know, living in Colorado, there's always fire restrictions, so you know, that's probably not gonna happen with an actual fire, but you know, it's okay. Number eight, go to a fruit field. And I've never been to one of those, so I think it would be kind of fun. Number nine, a flower field. I would say a sunflower field, but last year I couldn't find any. So I don't know if this year there's gonna be one near where I live. I hope there is, cause sunflowers are pretty. Number 10, swim at night. And I don't mean like with those big, bright lights shining on you so it's not really that dark. I mean, I don't wanna do it in like pitch blackness. I don't know. I just wanna swim at night. I've never done that before. Number 11, run around in the rain because I absolutely love rain. Everything between like the sound of it against windows, the scent of it, the like feeling of it on your skin, but not like the itchy feeling. That's disgusting. But like when it hits you, that's nice. Number 12, stargaze. I live too close to a city for stargazing at my house. 
So I probably have to go elsewhere for that. Number 13, a water balloon fight. Although I don't like the fact that it requires using plastic balloons that are gonna break and then wasting a lot of plastic. Number 14, paddle boarding. And my stepmom happens to have one of those, so I don't have to worry about renting one. Number 15, hiking. Preferably to like an actual destination because while loops are nice, it's also nice to actually like reach somewhere. Number 16, going to Mountain Melts, which happens to be this cute little restaurant somewhere in the mountains. This place, I'm not 100% sure if it's still open. I think it is. I hope it is. <laughs> Number 17, an alpine roller coaster or an alpine slide or something of that nature. Number 18, camping. And again, fire restrictions make it a little difficult to go camping because half of camping is a fire. <laughs> Number 19, picking wildflowers. And I don't mean flowers out of my neighbor's garden. I mean like actual wildfire, wildflowers I'm allowed to pick. Number 20, going to the movie theater to see what movie? I don't even know. Number 21, bake a cake. I have not baked a cake in a while, but like the last time I made one, I mean, it was edible, but it wasn't the best. So I'd probably try to use a different recipe than the one I used last time. Number 22, go tubing and you know, like an inner tube down a river or something. Number 23, canoeing on a lake, not like canoeing down a river because that probably wouldn't end well. I mean, kayaking down a river is one thing, but not canoeing. Number 25, a bonfire. Again, fire restrictions, so I'd have to go to another state for that, but bonfire, having a bonfire would still be pretty fun. Number 26, going on a road trip. I personally like road trips because they're like fun. I like traveling in general, so what am, what am I saying? But either way, I think going on a road trip would be fun. Number 27, going to a drive-in movie. And I did Google it one day and there are some around where I live. I've just never seen, seen one. Number 28, jumping in a lake. And I don't just mean from like the shore into it because that would just be basically like jumping in a puddle. I mean like off of something into it. Number 29, a nighttime bike ride. Even though I might get snatched by a creepy pervert that wants to kidnap me. Number 30, a night hike. And I've been wanting to do this for a few years. I mean, I haven't wanted to do half the stuff on this bucket list for a few years. Number 31, beach volleyball. My stepmom likes volleyball and I also know a few other people who like volleyball. So it's just a matter of finding a net. <laughs> I don't mean like beach volleyball in the park because there are some of those, but like actually on a beach. Number 32, using sparklers probably around 4th of July because I can't think of any other reason why I would use sparklers except for 4th of July. Number 33, sleeping on a trampoline, even though I don't know anyone who happens to own a trampoline. So that might be an issue. Number 34, going to a record store and obviously taking pictures in there because in case you can't see my wall collage, at least the corner of it, there's more to it. It's bigger than just that. But like, I like virtual things like that. Number 35, going to a small town diner. Number 36, building a blanket fort. Number 37, making cookies. And this is again, one of those that's not really like a summer specific thing, but either way, I still wanna do it this summer. I do bake cookies more than just the summer. It's not like summer's the only time I ever bake cookies. Like number 38, mini golfing and not like actual golfing because I do not like actual golfing. Number 39, watching fireworks. And this is probably something else I would do on 4th of July because when would I watch fireworks other than 4th of July? Number 40, tie-dyeing, probably a shirt or maybe something else. I have tie-dyed in the past, but it was just a plain white shirt with some colors that I now didn't really like together. And I also got someone else's tie-dye on it. Number 41, photo booth pictures, even though I don't know where you would usually find photo booths. Number 42, going roller skating. And I've never really gone roller skating. Number 43, going bowling. 44, a spa day, even though I don't like the idea of spas. So probably wouldn't include going to an actual spa. 
Number 45, doing karaoke. Number 46, learning how to ride a penny board. Number 47, going to the sand dunes. Also, if I went to the sand dunes, I would love to, um, like, I don't wanna say snowboard because there's no snow, but like, kind of. Number 48, going on the Royal Gorge Railway. Number 49, catching fireflies, even though there are no fireflies in my state. Number 50, making pottery, even though I'm not that great at it. <laughs> Someone make some. Number 51, taking pictures. When I say take pictures, I don't mean the ones that I would take for like Snapchat, you know, like the ugly selfies. I mean like actual photography and not necessarily with a, you know, professional camera or anything. My mom does have this like really nice camera, so she might let me borrow it for taking photos. Number 52, a glow in the dark party, even though I have no reason to have one of those other than maybe my birthday. Number 53, go to an arcade. Number 54, go to the mall. And I know I'm going to do this no matter what because my stepmom Happens to return things to the mall a lot. Number 53, sit on swings at the park. I prefer, you know, one of those like small town playgrounds that happen to have those, you know, everything metal slides and merry-go-rounds and swing sets. Although I must say those merry-go-rounds don't seem safe and I don't know why someone thought that that was a safe idea. I mean, they are fun to ride on, but like there's a reason why they're not in modern day playgrounds. Number 56, make freshly squeezed lemonade, not just like lemonade packets. Number 57, make popsicles. And I have done this in the past. So I would probably just use Dixie cups and popsicle sticks like I did before. Cause that works pretty well. My grandma does have these like popsicle molds, but they're like rocket shaped and they're kind of difficult to take off. Number 58, go to the mountains, probably for like a weekend or just really, why not just go to the mountains? <laughs> I like the mountains. I do happen to live in Colorado, so there, there are mountains that are in an easily day drivable distance. It's not like I live in, you know, Kansas, the middle of freaking nowhere that's just like a flat plain and then have to drive a long distance to get to mountains. Number 59, go jet skiing, even though I have never done this before. I've also never gone skiing before. Number 60, collect seashells. And I think if you use your common sense, you would probably realize I can only do that on a beach. Number 61, knit a blanket, even though I've never knitted anything and I don't know if I would ever actually knit a blanket. I just think that that would be cool if I made such a big Thing that took me so long. Number 62, paint rocks. I have done this in the past, as in I have a minion rock thing sitting over there on my bookshelf. I would show it to you, but like it's kind of on my bookshelf and I don't really want to get up <laughs> to grab it. Number 63, go to the melting pot, which is this really good fondue restaurant by me, except it's like really expensive. So I only go there for special occasions or if my dad happens to get like a really good coupon for or something. Number 64, make a candle, even though I have no clue how to make a candle. I'm pretty sure what you do is you just pour wax into a mold that happens to have a wick. Number 65, read the book It. It's very thick. It happens to be over a thousand pages. I did happen to read the first like 300 pages of this in like, fifth grade, but I never finished it because to me, 300 pages seemed like a long book at the time. And no, it's not too scary for me. I mean, now it's obviously not, but like in fifth grade, it was not too scary for me. With books, I feel like it's more or less just about your imagination because they can give you the details, but like you're the one that has to make the mental image of those details. Number 66, going to a cute little thrift shop and I do know of this one. I also love thrifting in case you didn't know, in case you didn't know that I have like 10 thrifting videos up on my channel. Number 67, eat slushies because slushies are basically just flavored ice. And we all know that in the summer it gets very hot. And specifically in July, it's like 90 degrees the entire month 
Number 68, go to an escape room. I have never been to one of these because the ones I was gonna go to one, it didn't work out. So yeah, I've just never been to one. I really want to go to one though. Number 69, paint my nails. And I don't usually have my nails painted in like the fall, winter, and spring because it's competition season for cheer. So you're not allowed to have your fingernails painted. Last but not least, number 70 is to have fun. I could have come up with another thing, but like, I think this summer I just wanna have fun. So I think just saying have fun as number 70, it kind of just seals the deal. I hope you enjoyed my video and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you just so happen to like me so much that you have a need to follow me on Instagram, my username is is.a.bella.ll or my link will be down in the description. If you have not already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified every single time I post a video. Bye guys, peace out.